Hey day there, once again viewers, this is your mate Kamikaze78 here, coming to you guys with some more Planet Side 2 content. So folks, a new patch has hit the live servers, and if we were to summarise the patch in three words, it would read new player buffs. Things like abilities and weapon attachments being unlocked from the get-go, the new player loadouts being reworked to better introduce new players to effective, well thought out kits, and a whole lot of other stuff that simply aims to make the learning curve of Planet Side 2 just a little less brutal. And as the cherry on top, there was also a collection of quality of life updates thrown into the mix. Now today, I'm not going to be covering the majority of the patch in today's video. If that's something you are interested in, then there is going to be a video linked in the description down below by Joshino that should satisfy your patch overview needs, and if not, well then the patch notes themselves are linked in the description down below. Today folks, we are going to be diving in to the changes that have been made to the high magnification semi-automatic sniper rifles, those being the GOSS SPR, the 99SV, and the VA-39 Spectre, quite possibly some of the most rejected weapons in the entire game bar the phase shift, but we don't talk about that thing here. Ever since day one, the newly enlisted TR and VS infiltrators have been crying out for a change in starting sniper rifles to match the NC's bolt action default, as they felt as though the semi-automatic defaults that they have weren't competent enough to fit the role of a sniper. Now whilst the devs haven't changed the starting weapons available to the TR and VS infiltrators, there have been some changes made to these weapons that aims to make them a tad a bit more usable in combat and more appealing to players. The questions that now stand include, are these now going to be weapons that new players will be able to use competitively? Are these weapons now going to serve as suitable substitutes for those who suck with bolt action rifles? And yes, that does include me. Or are these weapons just going to be thrown back into the useless weapon category by the community? Well, let's find out. Now before everyone gets overly excited, let me just say that these weapons were not entirely reworked per se. In fact, there were only two changes made to them. That might sound a bit underwhelming at first, but as the saying goes folks, quality over quantity. The first change comes in the form of a brand new attachment, the Ballistic CPU. And if you've recently played a Call of Duty game, then you will know exactly what this attachment does. The Ballistic CPU removes all scope sway from a weapon, which is something that is absolutely huge for these semi-automatic rifles. Now I know for a fact that some will argue that this isn't a change to the weapons themselves, which is true to a certain extent, but considering that A, the Ballistic CPU is granted to all newly enlisted TR and VS soldiers for free on the 99SV and the VA-39 Spectre, and B, the only other attachments available in the rail slot for the 99SV and the VA-39 Spectre Spectre and the GOSS SPR are the flashlight and the forward grip, making the ballistic CPU the only viable option of the bunch for this attachment slot. And thus, we shall consider the ballistic CPU to be an actual change to these weapons, as you would be hard pressed to find a reason not to equip it in the first place. Now the second change that was made to these rifles was in regards to the recoil recovery rates, which went from 6 to 10, increasing the speed in which these rifles would recover from the recoil quail of the previous shot. Now, on the surface, this may sound like a fairly small change, I'll admit, but in the grand scheme of things, this change, in combination with the addition of the Ballistic CPU, has made these rifles, as us Aussies would say, fair dinkum effective. You see, folks, the main problem that these rifles had pre-patch is that you could spend a solid amount of time lining the first shot up, holding your breath to stabilize the scope, have the shot hit the target in the head, but it wouldn't matter because the first shot wouldn't kill them like how a bolt action would, and you would be stuck with a lengthy recovery time on the recoil and a shaky as hell scope thanks to the emptiness of your character's lungs. And then it would be downright impossible to land the required follow-up shots in order to land a kill before your target would dart straight into cover after receiving a pleasant reminder by you not to stand still in the open battlefield. The weapons were simply not reliable enough when firing at a speed you would need to be in order to score a kill. 
But now, both of those issues are no longer a problem. Hallelujah! It is now a lot easier to land successful follow-up shots considering that your character doesn't swing the scope around like he's in a conga line, and that your character no longer takes 10 minutes to recover from the recoil of the previous shot. In short, the effective rate of fire of these weapons has been increased as it is now a lot easier to fire multiple rounds quickly while keeping the crosshair on target, and therefore, these weapons have become a whole lot more reliable when it comes to making fast and furious follow-up shots. With that said though, have these weapons replaced the roles of the bolt-action rifles? Hell no. The bolt-action rifles are still quite possibly the more effective option if you are accurate with a sniper rifle. However, for chumps like myself, who aren't that great with bolt-action rifles, this change has really brought about a fresh breath of air when it comes to being able to snipe to a certain extent. To be honest, if I'm going against an enemy sniper who's using a bolt-action rifle at range and I'm using a semi-automatic sniper rifle, I'm still going to get my ass kicked, but the semi-automatic rifles, after they've received their changes, are just now a little bit more effective for us players who aren't good at sniping. And folks, with all that said, that's going to wrap up today's video on the semi-automatic sniper rifles that received a change in the latest patch that went to the live servers of Planetside 2. If you guys enjoyed today's video, if you found it informative in any way, shape or form, a backhanding of that like button would be greatly appreciated. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of these semi-automatic sniper rifles. Are you using them a bit more now or are you still avoiding them like the plague? If you find yourself backhanding that like button and you're new to the channel, backhand that subscribe button whilst you're at it to keep up to date with the content in which I'm releasing here. Any feedback is appreciated also in the comment section down below. Once again guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Peace out and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Have a good one.